Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel Civil Engineering Easy. Today I will show you how to find out the quantity of earthwork for an embankment. The top width of this bank is 2 meter. 1.5 meter down from the top is a 3 meter wide bump is to provide it on one side of the bank. Side slope on bump side is 1 ratio 1, where is on the other side is 2 ratio 1. Top level of the bank is proposed as 265 meter and the natural surface level at 30 meter interval are given below. The natural surface level at RD0 is 262, at 30 is 262.35 at 60 is 262.15 at 90 is 260.35 at 120 is 260.05 and at 150 is 259.75 In this question, the quantity of artwork can be worked out by various methods but mean depth method will be reasonable due to its simplicity and accuracy According to this method, there are two ways to solve this problem In the first method two separate embankments will be considered. According to this method, the lower portion of the bank will be treated as a usual 265 minus 1.5 that will be equal to 263.5 and its top width will be 3 plus 1.5 multiplied by 1 plus 1.5 multiplied by 2 plus 2 is equal to 9.5 meter. For the upper portion of this level, top width will be 265 meter and its top width will be 2 meter. Depth for this portion is constant that is 1.5 meter. Then both quantities will be added. In the second method as shown in the figure, quantity of the whole solid bank will be worked out first. For this, bank top level will be 265 meter and top width will be 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 meter. Then the quantity of outwork of burn portion will be worked out separately and deducted from this quantity. This portion is of parallelogram shape whose breadth is 3 meter and height is 1.5 meter. Let's solve the problem by using first method. The top level of bank is 265 minus 1.5 that will be equal to 263.5 meter. The top width of the bank is equal to 2 multiplied by 1.5 where 2 is the side slope and 1.5 is the depth of the section plus 2 is the width of the bank plus 1 multiplied by 1.5 where 1 is the side slope on another side and 1.5 is the depth of the section plus 3 is the width of the bump by addition of all these quantities we will get 9.5 meter is the width of the bank the side slope on one side is 2 ratio 1 and on another side is 1 ratio 1 Draw the table and fill it accordingly. In the first column, write down the station or changes. That is 0, 30, 60, 90, 120 and 150. Write down its corresponding changes. The natural surface level at 0 change is 262, at 30 change is 262.35, at 60 change is 262.15, at 90 change is 260.35 at 120 is 260.05 and at 150 is 259.75. The top level of this embankment is constant that is 263.5. Now how to find out the depth or height at each change for that detect the natural surface level from the top level at each change that is 263.5 minus 262 the answer will be equal to 1.5 meter is the depth of section at zero change for the 30 change how to find out the depth that will be equal to 263.5 minus the natural surface level at 30 meter change is 262.35 the answer will be equal to 1.15 and similarly for the 60 90 120 and 150 change can be solved in the same manner in the next column, find out the mean depth for each change. The mean depth for the change 0 and 30 can be found out by the addition of the depth at 0 change that is 1.5 and the depth at 30 change that is 1.15 divided by 2. The answer will be equal to 1.33. For the next change, 1.15 plus 1.35 divided by 2 that is equal to 1.25 and so on. 
In the next column, find out the cross-sectional area of the central portion that is the multiplication of the width of the embankment with the depth at each edge. Here the width is 9.5 meter and multiply it with the depth that is 1.33. The answer will be equal to 12.64. For the 60 change, multiply 9.5 with 1.25 that will be equal to 11.88 and so on. In the next column, find out the side area of the triangular portion that is S1D square divided by 2. For 30 change, the S1 is equal to 2 multiply, the depth is 1.33, take at square, divide by 2. The answer is equal to 1.76. Similarly for the 60, 90, 120 and 150 changes. Also find out the area of another side that is S2 multiply D square divided by 2 where S2 is the side slope of the other side. For the third change S2 is equal to 1 multiply by depth is 1.33 whole square divided by 2 the answer is equal to 0.88 and so on for the remaining changes. For the total area of the section add the BD column with S1 D square divided by 2 with S2D square divided by 2 column to get the total area at each change. I will show you how to calculate the section area at 30 change that is the addition of 12.64 is the central area plus 1.76 is the side 1 area and 0.88 is the side 2 area. The answer will be equal to 15.28 and so on for the remaining change. The length is taken at constant change that is 30 meter. Multiply the section area of each change with the station RD that is 30 meter to get the volume of embankment. For 30 change, the section area is 15.28 multiplied by 30 that will be equal to 458.40 is the quantity of embankment between 0 and 30 and similarly find out the volume of soil for the remaining changes. Now add all the quantity of soil at each change to get the total quantity of soil for embankment. By the addition the net quantity of embankment is equal to 4794 cubic meter. Now find out the quantity of the upper portion, the top width is 2 meter, the depth is constant that is 1.5 meter, side slope S1 is 2 ratio 1, side slope 2 S2 is 1 ratio 1. Formula for the section area will be equal to BD plus S1 D square divided by 2 plus S2 D square divided by 2. By putting the values 2 multiply 1.5 plus 2 multiply 1.5 whole square divided by 2 plus 1 multiply 1.5 whole square divided by 2 by calculation that will be equal to 6.375 square meter is the section area quantity of earthwork for this portion will be equal to area multiplied by the length the area is 6.375 and the overall length is 150 meter by calculation we will get the total quantity for this portion will be equal to 956.25 cubic meter. The overall quantity of earthwork is equal to quantity of the portion 1 plus quantity of the portion 2 that is 4794 is the quantity of the portion 1 plus 956.25 is the quantity of portion 2. The overall quantity will be equal to 5750.25 cubic meter.